great. I mean, um, it was not the way we, uh, the whole team as a, as a whole didn't play as good as we expected to play. But um, we were hoping for a, for a better um, beginning of the, of the season in January. Now that Clark's gone, um, I, I feel like I, uh, I had to take off, uh, on that role and it's, it's, not, it's not easy. When, when the guys look up to you and expect, uh, expect m uh, more from you now than they uh, did before. But hopefully I'll, I'll learn something from him and I can use that on, on court. Yeah, I was really happy for Euros to come out and start off his fall season strong. You know, he, he has goals of making the NCAA tournament in singles and um, you know, he got to play a player who got to the semifinals last year and Dennis Wynn of the NCAA tournament and he beat him pretty handily and, you know, so that kind of got him off and rolling to a good start and, um, you know, hopefully that's some signs to come for the rest of the year. Well, I don't know, I guess right now it's a tradition, right, uh, to win that tournament for, for us, but um, I was playing good in, in summer and I came here ready and prepared to go and I think uh, that was just uh, continuing from, from the summer. In Boston, we had, you know, we did really well in singles. You know, everyone on the team had three or two wins, two or three wins. And then, you know, we went to All Americans and we didn't quite do so well in singles. And then, but then, you know, Philip and Jordan started to play better as a doubles team and had some great opportunities there to even go further. And you know, and then we kind of balanced it out when we went up to regionals a couple weeks ago. And um, you know, Euros had a good result getting into the semifinals and you know was one set away from getting into the finals there. And then we had a couple teams get to the quarterfinals of the doubles, and unfortunately, you know, Jordan has was hurt because I really th they they were the one seed, Jordan and Philip. I thought they could go out and win it and get to play it, it indoors, um, you know. But right now, again, everything is about a building process, and these guys are are getting better, and they're starting to, you know, like you said, the maturity part is 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 coming along as well as the tennis part. We just uh, have to be. We just have to believe in ourselves more because we're we're a very talented team. We have a lot of great guys that can play high, and we're all competing for um, for a position in lineup. So I think we could definitely believe more in ourselves because I think we we can really be a high ranked team. I think the biggest thing for them is that they just need to know that they should want to prove themselves again. You know, last year, I think we had an edge to ourselves, like we wanted to beat Pepperdine finally for the first time, and we wanted to show them that we were ready and gunning for them. Now, like you just said, we've got we to gotta defend a little bit more, um, but we got to stay hungry. You know, this team's got a lot of things still to prove that we haven't done in the last few years. You know, a lot of the goals that these guys, um, you know, we, we haven't had a top 20 win or a top 10 win uh, in a couple years now. And I think the guys want to do that, and they also want to get ranked higher up in the country at the start of the year, and then build that, build into that going into the conference schedule, as opposed to leaning to the conference at the end of the year to kind of maybe hopefully catapult them into the NCAA tournament. So I'm um, hopefully, they're, like I said, they're going to have that same chip that they had last year, but at the beginning of the year, and kind of move forward and get, keep us going and rolling into the conference season. I'm